on the reel. On Girl Chat, Adrian sets the record straight. This man pictured here is not married. And love is in the air. But what happens when it all goes wrong? Hell yeah, it's cheating. What you think? Yeah. yeah. Then 2 Chain is here. Plus, we've got Don Cheeto. <laughs> wow. Uh... <laughs> the reel. and we missed you all so much. Yes. But we've got some amazing news while we were gone. The Reel was nominated for four <laughs> Daytime Emmy Awards. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Crazy. Wow. Like, uh, wow. We were nominated for Outstanding Entertainment Talk Show. Crazy. <laughs> Outstanding Entertainment Talk Show hosts. Yes. And we also got nominations for our fabulous hair and oh, makeup. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And we just wanted to say what an honor it is just to be recognized by the Television Academy and yeah. to be listed yeah. amongst these other titans of daytime yes. television. It's so an major. Honor. We couldn't do any of this without our incredibly hardworking staff and crew. And of course, you guys, you our fans. Guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. We are just so very, very proud and really humbled. Lonnie, I want to know, hmm, what was your reaction to hearing the news? Did you cry? I was just, I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't, we were all on our group chat. Yes. And we got the news and I'm just, I'm just at, at a loss for words, but I'm very humble because we were so I hard. knew it was coming. but I wasn't on the group chat. Did you oh, know that? Well, you knew that because you Wait, called me. I, but you weren't, you weren't CC'd on it? Yo. No, 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 I was were... on the group chat, but, but you know, she wasn't responding. You guys, I, I called Damar Braxton. Guess where she was when we were getting I mean, nominated? I was going to tell everybody, but go get your life. No, 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 I just no, couldn't believe it. No, go ahead, tell, go. She was at Walmart! <laughs> group chat where she didn't respond back, so I was like, where is she? Okay, to, to, to define it, we were all on a group chat, everybody was responding, but we didn't hear from her. Mm -hmm. Because... I was spending my quality time at Walmart, child. <laughs> and so, what it was... You know, Vince and I have this big Easter egg hunt every year. Y'all right. was out of town, mm -hmm. of course. Yes. I was buying stuff I didn't even need. I couldn't get my nerves together. I didn't even react like this when I got my nominations for, for the Grammys. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I've been nominated four times for a Grammy, and I've never had this kind of, like... I mean, I was excited when I got those nominations, but this one was completely different. Why do you really? think so? I don't know. Maybe because, you know, I, I, I don't... Because I'm new at this, you know? <laughs> well, let me and tell you. this is something that I really, really love to do, and sometimes, I don't know if we take it for granted that we love to do yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we don't look at it like, you know, we're on a talk show. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of competition out there because that's not why we're here. We're right. here because we absolutely yes. adore what we do. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I was like, oh my God, we're wrecking. I just can't believe it. Yeah. doesn't feel like a job. <laughs> Getting beat every day and sitting here with my friends doesn't yeah, feel like yes, a job. Yeah, that's Absolutely. So true. Oh yeah. When I called Tamar, Tamar was like, Holy Ghost in the aisle eight. <laughs> and I, she was like, Hey, you know, I'm in here shouting. I'm about to, like, I, it was just, I, I was in Mexico still, and I literally, when I took, I cried. I cried. Then I called my mother. My mother cried. My mom called my Aww. sister. My sister cried. Yeah. We, it was a hotline of crying, a yeah. hotline of tears. Yeah. Well, another exciting thing that happened over the break is that we were all invited back to the White House for their oh annual God. Easter egg roll. Yes! Now, Tamar and 
Tamara sadly weren't able to make it this time, but mm. Adrian, Jeannie, and I went to D.C. to enjoy the festivities. Oh we my God. even brought along Munchkin's sister and her husband and her my new niece, Jet <laughs> yes. Marie. So and of funny. course, Jeannie brought Mama Mai. That's all of us there. Okay. So much fun. Jeannie, what was your favorite part of the Easter egg roll? My favorite first thing was that when we got there, it felt like home because it felt familiar. Yeah. And the second the first lady saw us, she just like smiled and was like, hey, hey my girl. Biggest the word she said. Yes, President Obama, you guys even did a little dance with me. He did a little like, hey. And that was really cool because we didn't get to see him in person. So and nervous. then you'll never believe this, you guys. Mama Mai said something to President Obama <laughs> oh, no. that I yes, wasn't ready did. for. No, you're yeah. not ready. I, I wasn't ready because we were trying to hurry. It's a long line. You want to take the picture and move yeah, on. Right. Yeah. She tapped in and she said, skill me, skill me. I have a question for you. Why you call this the Easter egg roll? I see no egg roll anywhere in the house. Yes. I just see yes. apple and carrot yes. and coffee, she, no she egg roll. I died. I know you did. What did you say though? The president of the United States said, you're right, there aren't any Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah. We're not in We're the so egg rolls. Roll. We have the egg rolls. He was really gracious and about it. And the first lady said, Mama, my egg rolls are not the healthiest thing that we should have here when the kids are active. <laughs> but I promise you'll enjoy the Easter egg. Raw. Oh, so they were so oh, nice. Was so yeah. nice. Oh, so I, cool. I prepped my niece to say, Hello, oh. Mr. President. Uh -huh. And she said, Hello, Mrs. First Lady Michelle. And then on her own, she was like, You're beautiful to, oh. to, to the First Lady. Yeah. And when I tell you, I just for her to be able to experience that. Yeah, like, I took a photo of her, the, we were on oh, the line, yeah. looking oh, out so the front window of the White House. And oh. I was like, you know, the Obamas are such a, a representation. They're Amazing. very personable. Such Amazing. personal people, and they really do symbolize that anything is possible. Yeah. 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 And I think what a great message to send to the next generation, that you can achieve anything you put your mind to, regardless of your race, where you're from. Your wow. age. Amazing. And I took photos of everybody, OK? This is a photo of me standing standing in line, and I was in front of the cast of Blackish. So I made Anthony Anderson actually, you know, smile, because I like I wanted to show. That's him <laughs> in the back there. He was in back of me oh, waiting geez. to see the president Yo. right there. <laughs> Lonnie and her sneak pics. I and I did a sneak a pic, pic because Jay-Z and Jay -Z Beyonce, Beyonce were, were there. there. That was so cool. I found a way to, like, that's oh, the geez. back. They were going up. To Y'all went to the White House like a bunch of groupies. She is the buzz. Buzz. I over here. buzz. That was my, you know what? It was a phenomenal, it was 35,000 people. Yes. There were different stations. Yeah. It was just wonderful. And it well, was just great. a great day. Awesome. So, so cool, yeah. thank you to the First Lady and to the President I for mean, inviting us. I mean, this little us. vacation was full of, you know, life, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. I mean, and you know, I mean, speaking of our life, Miss Adrian, there was some <laughs> other stuff that was happening, you know? <laughs> and, you know, all the blogs and stuff. So. <laughs> We all just wanted to know what had happened to you on the break. Well, this may come as a shock to some of you guys, but after about a year of uh, being single, I am now dating. Good for you. <laughs> With that being said, while I was on vacation in Mexico, uh, paparazzi took some photos of me and the guy that I'm dating. His name is Israel Houghton. <laughs> and I, I think... You know, it is important to clarify something. So I know a lot of blogs went crazy, but that's why I'm here to set the record straight. Mm -hmm. So this man pictured here is not married. How about that? Praise God. <laughs> first things first. First things first. I think it's important to clarify things because people can put up headlines and you run away with that and no one actually reads sometimes the articles or uh, somehow they miss big public announcement. Or they that just be talking about stuff they don't know nothing don't know. about. How about that? Yeah. That, that too. Okay, what happened now? Okay, what happened? So, so with that being said, he had actually put out a statement. He, uh, had, he is single, number one. And I think the other thing people were saying was that I was the cause of his divorce. Mm -hmm. Which I think any divorce is obviously a sad thing. People have to go through. It takes time to get through that sort of thing. And I think no one put that time together. I think you see an announcement made, you know, at the top of this year, and then you see these photos, and you say to yourself, well, let's put this together, but this is why I'm grateful for moments like this, because it allows you to set the facts straight. And God forbid the facts get in the way of a really good, juicy story. Right. But yeah. I'm going to say the truth, and the truth of the matter is that isn't the case. He, he obviously is divorced. He had put out a statement saying that um, he had failed in his marriage, 
and it was about five years back. I didn't know him at that time. So to put that blame on me was mm -hmm. obviously hurtful. I think, you know, I love unfair. that you guys reached out. It was unfair. Um, as two single people, we were friends for two and a half years from doing promo and stuff like that. Another clarification, he was not besties with Lenny, who I also got a great phone call from, who was like, I pray that you are not on those blogs, Adrian. Don't you allow. Your ex-fiance. My ex-fiance uh, gave me a call. He's a great guy. And I think um, just hearing that phone call and somebody reaching out and saying, hey, I'm calling to make sure you're OK, because I know who you are. Mm -hmm. These people don't know who you are. Don't allow them to, define, to, you. to define you. Don't allow these blogs to even upset you. That's I got a right. call from Tamar that pretty much said, Adrian, if you and I having a margarita in Mexico, I'm coming over there to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at the end of the day, even, I mean, I feel like you did this for you, but you don't, you don't deserve, you don't have to explain your life to right. anybody, right. you know? I love you, I know you, you're a great woman. I know Israel, I love Israel. He's a great guy and yeah. a great dad. And you know, you guys don't have to explain your relationship to anybody, you know? You guys know what you have. It's something special, it's something magical. We're married, we can see when you got something real yep. and it's something real. <laughs> and you know, you don't owe this explanation to anybody. So I just want you to know, mm -hmm. you have to vindicate yourself. You're a wonderful woman, a good woman, and God bless you guys. Thank you so it's much. It's hard out here trying to find love, child. Yeah. So get your life. Yeah, you think, yeah, 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 it's all hard. He's a great guy, and I'm, I'm really happy, but I'm glad we were able to set that straight. I felt like I was going to have to be Marsha Clark. I'm obsessed with the O.J. Simpson <laughs> channel. Yeah. I was going to be like, Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It doesn't need explanation. I know the truth, and I think um, when you have friends and loved ones that know your truth, and you know that... Um, God defines who I am. How about That's that? Right. You know what I mean? I think God knows my Period. heart. God knows the situation, and Period. I think that I can rest in that. And Absolutely. I want to say something. They're married. Yeah. So there, it's a different lifestyle when you're married versus when you're dating. Very different. Oh, yeah. And that's the reason why some people express what they do on the show because they're married and they know that they, they have their definite partners. We don't yeah. know what we gonna happen. Yeah, gonna you happen. don't jump out the gate and, and start dating exactly. somebody and go make announcements. Exactly. You, you let things build up, you find out where it's going. Yeah, because you don't want to look like a hoe in these streets. You no, know? Thank you. exactly. That's what you talk right. about them. And yeah, that's 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 you spend quality time with to get to know with. You don't go and make that sort of no, a exactly. bro. Let these things take time. Exactly. Yeah, that's honestly, right. Adrian, that's your business. How about yes, that? It yep. It's right. your business and no one else. But you know, everybody wants to make assumptions. I, yeah. and it was, I just hate that you had to go through that because we it know hurt. that you're a good girl. It shouldn't have. Did you, you ain't drink enough. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did you not. Should. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have something I really, really want to talk about, ladies, okay? Oh, my God. Who could that be? <laughs> Today. Now, I don't know if you know <laughs> that you're my Michael Jackson. No, like yes, in, seriously. You know, like in real life, yes. like, yes. my life don't move without two chains. Because yes. okay. guess what, what happens is, you know, I drive myself to work every day, okay. and I have to listen to ratchet music, and you are my ratchet music of choice. Really? Yes. yes. I like that. <laughs> I appreciate that. And then wow. I be twerking while I'm driving. Like, twerk driving is the that's, best. Y'all know how to twerk drive. Yeah. How you do it? Show me how you do it. Bam, bam, get it, bam. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it's a talent, it's a skill. That is skill. It takes that, yeah. The Guinness Book of War record. Yes, yes. Well, Mr. Change, your new album, Collie Grove, is out, and it's yes. a joint effort between you and Lil Wayne. You know, you've collaborated with him many times, but what was it like doing a whole CD with him? Well, first of all, that's, that's like, you know, my friend in the industry. It's hard to have a friend in the industry, a genuine friend in yeah. the industry. He's like my brother and, and one of my favorite rappers. So this album is more or less kind of dedicated to Wayne. We did over half the project together. We 
wow. sat in the studio together, we vibed together, and it was very organic. I've known him for over 10 years. Oh, wow. We're familiar with each other's background, family, et cetera. So it wasn't um, a bigger task as people think it was, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was all about just going in, coming up with a concept, coming up with some direction, and really just trying to add some more flavor to what hip hop and the direction that hip hop is going right now. We need that, that is so dope. It's best when it's natural and it yeah. comes together in a real way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, women, we often rely on our girlfriends to give us all the tee hee hee and advice on our relationships, don't we? Yes. Yes, yes, we do. But when it comes to matters of the heart, there's only one person in these streets that I trust to help navigate these rocky roads, okay? So I think today is a good day to smooth things out and demand clarity for all of these lovers out here, mm -hmm. including thine self. It's time for Lonnie's Love Corner. <laughs> question comes from Elena from Brattleboro, Vermont. Oh. Now she watches us on Fox 25. Hi. Yes. All right, now Elena's in a situation and she really needs your help. Elena writes, hello, Lonnie. I really need some good advice. I found out my husband of 11 years has been talking to another woman he met online. Try. Apparently, they've been texting each other for a couple of months. He says he's never seen her and he's never been with her physically, so he doesn't consider it cheating. I feel that communicating with her and telling her intimate things is cheating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lonnie, yeah. even though they've never been together physically, hmm. but they're chatting online, do you believe it's considered cheating? Should I give him a second chance or should I divorce him? Hell yeah, it's cheating. What you think? Yeah. It is. I mean, it's, it's the worst type of cheating, too. Huh. It's cyber cheating because it's emotional. Yes. He's not seeing her, but he's feeling her. And you know what? I'm not gonna tell you to divorce your husband because it's 11 years. I always believe that you should fight for certain things. Mm -hmm. You tell him to cut it out or you gonna cut out. You Perfect. understand that? Perfect line. Be direct. Thanks, Our next Jenny. question comes from Jalinga, who watches us on Fox 29 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hi, what girl. Up, Billy? <laughs> she writes, Dear Lonnie, I'm in a serious relationship with my boyfriend of three years, and I love him dearly, but I'm also in love with his brother. What? <clears throat> <laughs> I've been seeing his brother for about a year now. What? And things are getting pretty serious. But now, my actual boyfriend of three years has been hinting that he wants to make it official and marry me. I've been trying to avoid the conversation about marriage because I love them both and I'm not ready for marriage. No, you're not. I need help, Lonnie. What should I do? She needs she help. help. <laughs> You need help, Ooh, right? You're not ready for marriage or a relationship, no. girl. Let me tell you something about that brother that you're seeing huh. besides your boyfriend. Huh. That brother is called, um, he's breaking the bro code, yes. all right? Mm -hmm. You never date your brother's girlfriend, no matter Ever. how attractive or whatever you think you got going wow. on. And really, he playing on you because he don't love you or neither does he love his brother. Yeah. Because the minute you do something or his, or his brother does something, he's going to use you as a trump card. I believe that you should just leave both of them alone because huh. you're confused. You don't know Get who out. you want, what you yeah. want to see. Leave them alone because no good can... And I feel sorry for the brother yeah. because he don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. so what's going to happen one day is that they're going to get into an argument, him and his brother, and then and his brother's going to use it against them, and that's going to hurt him even more. Just leave both of them alone and find you somebody different because yeah. yes. you're confused. Yes. Start fresh. Yes. You, yeah. You, yeah. Well, Lonnie, well, you always come through with some words of wisdom. Yes. Thanks to everyone who submitted <laughs> questions to Lonnie's Love Corner. Don Cheeto's newest movie, Miles Ahead, was just released in theaters and is creating a ton of buzz, yes. giving us a unique glimpse into the life of Miles Davis. A few days ago, I had the privilege of sharing a few laughs with the award-winning Don Cheeto and his beautiful co-star, Emiazzi Coronaldi. Check it out. Hey, everybody. I am here with the stars of the new movie, Miles Ahead, Mr. Don Cheeto. Everybody knows you, Don, okay? So I don't need to introduce you, all right? Oh. But please, introduce your beautiful co-star. Oh, this is Miss Emiazzi Coronaldi, and she is fantastic in this this Thank movie you, and uh emmy nominated yet because <laughs> they were bragging 
<laughs> big time. Like, like you know, oh, I have some work to do. Let them know. I have some work Let to do. Know. No, you get there, baby. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but thank both of you for being here. I am so excited about the movie. Now, Emiatsi. Yes. Your parents loved you because they gave you a name with every letter in the alphabet except <laughs> F. Mm -hmm. I thought that was like mm -hmm. phenomenal. Well, you know, it's Imiati F. Cornoli, but you know. Really? See? <laughs> no, it's not. It's I'm not. Sorry, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, Don, you are the co-writer, the producer, the director, and the star of this movie. And I heard you did craft services. No. <laughs> right. I'm like that the, the Jamaican family on the uh, Living Color. Exactly. <laughs> you got so many jobs. <laughs> so many jobs. So yeah, many jobs you got. You just do it all. <laughs> but with that said, I know that in 2006, mm -hmm. Miles Davis was... Um, inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and his nephew was asked, who would you have to play Miles Davis? And they said, Don Cheeto. And nobody was like, who's Don Cheeto? It was like, yeah. yeah was, was that a surprise? Uh, yeah, definitely. When I got the calls the next day and they told me what, you know, because people were calling me going, so when's the movie? I was like, what, what movie are you talking about? <laughs> like the Miles Davis movie. I'm like, what, where, what's the Miles Davis movie? And so they told me the story and I was very surprised. And then I met Vince and I wasn't surprised at all that he would say something like that. Mm -hmm. They really just threw open the doors and gave us a lot of access. Now, when you were being directed by Don Cheadle, <laughs> was he directing you as Miles Davis or as Don Cheadle? You know, my first day on set, I was being directed by Miles Davis. <laughs> you know, he was in my ear telling me what to do, you know, yelling at me in character. I'm, I'm fearful of, of my life in that moment. You know, there were no pleasantries when I got to set that day. It wasn't, hi, me, auntie, I'm Don Cheeto. It, it wasn't that. We got straight to it. Yeah, let's go. Um, you let's know, it was go. my first time seeing him even in full costume and everything, and it just... Wow. I was... I, <laughs> I don't know what was happening. You know, it was perfect for what we were shooting that day. Tell me about the love scenes. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, uh... But... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Was the love scene like awesome? The love scenes. Let, let tell me tell the truth. you this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the truth. Okay. Are you ready for the truth? I don't know, but tell it. The love scenes. <sighs> <laughs> Scenes were were really gross. Lovely. Say it. <laughs> no, they were really lovely for me because Don really made sure to take care of me. You know, he made me comfortable. Oh yeah. Um, I didn't feel. You know that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep talking, girl. I didn't feel... You saying it, girl. Keep going. You know? <laughs> How did he make you comfortable? What did he do? Oh, my God. What? We're women. <laughs> you know, this is important stuff. Yes. Yes. Let's have our moment. Yes. yes. Do your thing. I'll be you back know? here. And so it was, it was very easy, you know? It, he really made me feel comfortable in those moments. And so that allowed me to just be in the moment and to go with it, you know? And it just was really... Lovely, really lovely. I heard that you played saxophone, but did you have to learn how to play trumpet? And how was that for you? Yeah, I mean, people have pointed out that I probably didn't have to learn how because that, you know, it's three right. valves and you could fake it, I right. guess, and people wouldn't know. But but not Don Cheeto. Not Don well, Cheeto. I, well, for me, I want to, I want the people who actually do it, for real, mm -hmm. to go. Okay, I'm riding with you. I want to ask you a real question. Oh, okay. Since you. Um, are the director, mm -hmm. and we've been having a lot of issues in Hollywood about uh, casting. Mm -hmm. And here's my question, I'm gonna go direct. If you were the director, which you are, mm -hmm. would you have cast yourself as Miles Davis if you looked like Stephon Curry? Hmm. It depends on the take. Hmm. It depends on what your perspective, if you're saying something about that, mm -hmm. and you're not trying to get away with anything, mm -hmm but you're actually trying to get into something. It, if it doesn't work, I have very strong opinions about uh, killing it. But I, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt before, you know, before I just say out of hand, that's a terrible yeah. idea. I, won't, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Wow. You know, Google is a hell of a thing. Because mm. I Googled you, uh -oh. and this came up. Yes. The Mayim uh, Tell me about this. No. <laughs> You were a mime. Well, mimes can't talk, so I don't think I have to Come on, Don. say anything Did about it. <laughs> now we're doing the box. Is that what's happening over there? Here in the box. Exactly. You're, in the box you push join it. me, Em. He says he won't join. The box. <laughs> He's there. The rope, yeah. Who 
pull it in. Get it, baby. There pull it, go. baby. Let's do it. Pull <laughs> it, baby. I love it. I love it. It's time to kick off one of our signature games that's got a whole lot of soul. Because mm -hmm. someone right here will be walking away with five hundred dollars. Woo! So if you've got good aim, then you are a shoe in It's time to toss it like it's hot when we play Eosaur! Tam and Aid will be each paired up with somebody from our audience. Each team will have 30 seconds to toss as many of these rings as they can onto our wall of heel. Yes. yes. Okay, real easy guys. Whichever team hooks the most rings wins $500. So let's bring down our players when I say your name. Get on your feet. Playing on Team Tamara is China Mosby. <laughs> Ready to pull yes. 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 All right. So where are you from, gorgeous locks? Atlanta, Georgia. Come on, Atlanta. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes, yes. So do you have a good aim game? I think I'm all right. I can get those uh, rings on there. Okay. All right now. So sassy Sarah, where you from, girl? <laughs> Cerritos, California. Yeah. 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 Let me ask you a question. How was your aim game? Really good. Okay. okay. We're going right. to see. Yeah. 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 Let's do yeah. this, guys. Team Tam, you yes. guys are up first. So come to the line. Let's right. put 30 seconds Let's on the do clock. This. We're green, All right? right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Hey, you got this, Tam? I got this. I All got right. this. We have to be confident, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Set. Get up. Ready? We'll make it to the line. Ta If you want to win the $500, can you do it, girl? Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. So, let's put another 30 seconds on the clock. Girl. You guys up to the line. All right. Okay. okay. They got 10, so right. you need 11 to beat them. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot. You okay. can do it. Good job. Okay. Right. You guys got this. I feel like you guys got more aim because you're smaller. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here we go. Get Ready. Down. you're gonna take. One, two, three, four, five! Now, I'm sorry, Team A, you didn't win, but this is the real, you do not go home empty-handed uh -huh. in these streets. 